Okay, so let's take a look at how we can calculate the gradient of a slope on a topographic map. Here you see a simple topographic map of a hill, and I want you to notice that we have a map scale down in the bottom left-hand corner. We have several contour lines, two of which are marked, and we have two points, x and y. Now the best place to start is of course with the formula, so we should all record the formula for gradient which can be found on page one of the reference tables. There you will see that gradient is equal to the change in field value divided by the distance. Now in the case of a topographic map, the field value refers to the elevation. So we're looking in the difference in elevation between the two points and we're going to take that and divide it by the distance between the two points. So step one, of course, would be to find that change in field value. Now if we start with point Y, it's fairly simple. The elevation of point Y is 300. You can see that clearly on the map. Y lies right along the 300 index contour. To, time the, to find the elevation of X is a little more tricky because we have to figure out the um, contour interval. Now you'll notice up here we have an elevation of 400, which tells us that the interval is 20 giving us 320, 340, 360, and 380. And so now we can clearly see that the value for x, the elevation at x, is 380. So the next step would be to find the distance between points x and y using the map scale and some scrap paper. So you'll bring your scrap paper in, line it up with the xy line, and mark off where x is, and then mark off where y is. And you take your scrap paper and you move it down along the map scale in the bottom left corner. In this case, it looks like x and y are exactly one mile away from each other. So now we have all the numbers we need. We can plug them simply into the formula. So the distance is one mile. The elevation of y is 300 and the elevation of x is 380. So if we plug them in, we get gradient equals 380 minus 300. That would be the change in field value divided by the distance between x and y, which is equal to one mile. Then we go to our calculator and figure it out, and the gradient becomes e equal to 80 units per mile. So that means this, as you travel from point y to point x, your elevation increases by 80 units for each mile you travel. The reason we have to use units here is because um, the elevation is not specified as to whether it's feet or meters. So we simply say units per mile. Thank you.